awesome tutorial of virtual DJ keyboard mapping. Now today I will be showing you how to set your keyboard mappings for effect active select. You can play cut, echo, loop out effects by using a keyboard key. Now before we continue with the tutorial if this is your first time to this channel, consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so, so that you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials about virtual DJ keyboard mapping. Now let's begin with the tutorial. Now head over to the top right corner of your screen and click on this small icon of settings N and you'll see these options obviously you must have come across all of them now for us to set it we have to click on mapping then to set the key you can choose any key of your choice me i like to use the Q key for the first effect I can either type the key no the the action from here or I can pin it from here using this small pin icon here i like pinning so i can come down here and click on this pin and i'll come and select the effect i want the first effect here it is cut i click it and it will show for me the the mapping there effect active one then let's save it and let's go and check it out when i click q my effect cut will be on you can see it will be highlighted blue blue now for these other two effects the echo and loop out i can also come and pin them or type it and then for the second effect i use the a key and the action here is effect underscore active two that is the echo and then lastly I use the Z, the Z key for the third effect, effect underscore active three. Save it and let's go and check it out. When I click the A my echo effect will be on and when i click the z key my echo not echo but loop out effect will be on here you can see it it will be highlighted blue when it's on now let's try playing a song and let's see how the mappings here will work with the music
use it for the effect active select keyboard mapping if you find this video wonderful and helpful consider liking it and you can comment below if you like to ask any question you can put it in the comment section and you can watch any of my previous videos about crossfader mappings you can see it in the description below and consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so that you don't lose any of my upcoming tutorials about virtual dj keyboard mapping that's what i teach in my channel now guys see you in the next video